So guys, I am back with another Power World video. And in this video guide, I'm going to showcase you as a low level player how you can earn infinite amounts of XP and level up super, super fast early game. This one you do not want to miss. How's it going guys? My name's DPG and before we go any further, I'm giving away a couple of copies of this game. To be with a chance of winning, simply drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed with those notifications turned on and I'll pick the winners from the comment section and announce them in a few days. Good luck. Okay, so this is a guide, an XP guide, a simple exploit anyone can use, so, so easy to do, and it will level you up through those early stages of the game quite quick. All you need to do this, guys, is to have access to, let's say a bow and arrow, I'd probably say that's maximum what you need. All you need is a stone axe to get wood to make campfires, about eight campfires, spheres, I guess, and a power box. That's all you need to do this. So level three, is where you need to be. So our level three can come here and do this. Once you're at that level, you need to come to where I'm at on the map right here. I can see where I'm at guys. So I probably best to use my mouse and keyboard for this, but that's the starting point in the game. That's the very first fast roll point you'll come to. This one right here. So what you need to do guys is come down this little path, come down here and come to here. This is all you need to come to. Just where I'm at right here. Then once you are here guys, you want to put down that power box. You want to pull it down as close to this cave as you can possibly get. This is where I'm at. So yep, create the power box. Just like so, this requires powder and fragments, uh, wood and stone, simple. Okay, so just place it anywhere like that. There we go. Now build it. Now this is mainly used for a... So if you die, because you probably will die, it doesn't matter though. Uh, you can just respawn right at this point. All good, all good. So now what you do guys is you want to come down here. So obviously you want to make sure you got a couple of pals as well. Doesn't matter what pals they are, they ain't got to be nothing special. So we're going to come down here guys, run past their base barrier or border. And you can see we have the Black Marketeer who is a level 40. Now if you're low level, this guy's got a like a minigun and it hits pretty hard. But you want to get his attention, so you just want to shoot him. Just like so. And then you want to run off. Just like so. And what you want to do guys is you just want to get him to basically the board here. Just get him to here. That's it. That's all you need to do. That is all you need to do. Now he'll come down pretty quick. And what I will say is as well, if you go out of the cave and wait for about a minute or two, uh, he'll actually call back his pal. So you ain't got to worry about his pal. But even if he doesn't, it doesn't matter. Because now what you want to do guys is you want to pull out any pal. So you're going to have a low level pal. Obviously if you're low level doing this, so yeah. Uh, let's see what low levels I've got. I don't think I've got many low levels. Sweeze, let's, let's just use a couple. Of, actually, let's just use one of them. Don't matter. So now, guys, we're just going to pick this dude up. And then what we're going to do, guys, is... We're just going to throw it so it starts fighting. We actually want him on this corner first. So we're just going to try and entice him around to this corner. Which, by the way, he has to see you. He won't start shooting you straight away. You'll see, it'll get a bit closer. You know, run around. If you're careful, you can do this. You'll get this down perfect. But once you do it once, let me tell you, once you do this once, you are good. You never have to worry about this again. That's all you got that's all you gotta think about. You never have to worry about this again. And once you get it down the first time, you are absolutely fine to do this. Okay, so he's a glitch on that corner. Okay, so now we're just gonna fill the power down. Just like so. I'm just gonna chuck out another pal. Don't know what I got here, but I've only got a newbis. It's probably my, the weakest one I got here. So I'm just gonna chuck him out too, and hopefully we'll start fighting him. There you go. I'm just gonna start fighting. Oh sh it probably ain't gonna have to start fighting because I ain't got him on attack. That's all good. Okay, so now they've started fighting, you just want to run past. Don't worry about that one. And I can see them fighting up there. That's good. You want to come to here, guys. And you want to put down the four campfires. I'm going to take my time in doing this. But you you want to rush as fast as you can do this. And you want to put them in this exact position. So you can see where that lantern is there. So you want to put one there. One there. One there. And one there. Now you want to build these straight away. These are the main ones you need to build. So build these straight away. 
Now while he's out there, you're fine because once he's around that corner and he's already got the attention, he won't come back down you. So you haven't got to worry about that for now. You haven't got to worry about that for now. But if he does, it doesn't matter. Okay, so the Cognito just spawned on top of the fires. You get, you're kind of getting a drift. Like I said, if I died here, it's fine because the, the fires are already down. That's all we need. That's all we need is the fires to be down. So now them fires are down, it's this simple. You quit out the game. And then you load back in. I'm on PC, I don't know. What, since the latest patch, guys, it's <laughs> it's just the mess. The loading in and backing out is just a mess. Okay, so this is this one right here. Just like so. And I do want to say as well, big shout out to Shogun, who hit me up on my Discord, who actually explained this to me and how to do it. So yeah, big shout out to that dude. Absolute legend, but this will work wonders for you low level players, 100%. So now guys, you'll notice when you spawn back in, Mr. Black Marketeer is cooking and you can see his health is dropping. Now what I would do from here guys is I'd build more fires around him. So, cause you want to trap him in. Cause if, was, if I was to hit him now, which you do actually have to hit him, um, he will aggro and walk off there. So as far as around it, he normally gets trapped. So you want to build these obviously before his health hits zero. I'm just going to build it there like that. that. You may need a bit more wood to do this. Just like so. This is how fun, it's about halfway, it's fine. Just like so. Just basically making a trap around him and we're good. So let's build these all up guys. Keep building them all up. It'll obviously take you a little longer because you probably ain't spent any points into your crafting, which is fair enough. But if you have, you should be quick. Just like me. I only think I've spent like two or three points to be honest. Once you've gotten a newbie, you'll never need to do that again. Okay, so don't worry about getting them all built if you can't straight away. That's fair enough. You want to watch his health and make sure you're watching his health. And from here, guys, all you got to do is pull out your ball or even a sphere. And you want to hit him before he dies. Just hit him before his health completely goes. So let's say like now. And there you go, guys. Run across. And get that loot. Simple as that. There's the gold keys and there's the gold coins. Simple as that, guys. And now from here, you simply just quit back out the game and repeat that process over and over and over again. That is all you have to do. Now, if you do this right the first time as a low level player, and again, like I said, you can do this from a level three, as long as you can craft them campfires, you can do this you probably don't even need the power box outside of the cave that's only there just in case you die so you can respawn there and yeah like i said you can do this guys over and over and over again i probably ain't built those them campfires around and it probably need to be a bit closer to him you see the gap try and make sure there's no gap in between you see there's a gap there that gap there you probably want to fill in so get them as close to him as possible because it locks him in and then when you do hit him, even if he does retaliate, you hit him on accident and he's got a bit of health left, he won't be able to get out, he'll be stuck in there, which is what you want. So yeah, so just exactly the spawning. Wait around, almost AFK. If you didn't have to hit him at the last second, he'd be AFK and you can do this over and over, guys. And infinite amounts of gold. XP until you're fully leveled. Yeah, and like I said, it's an amazing, an amazing uh, exploit, which I guarantee you will be patched out again pretty soon but again all you need is legit bow and arrows sphere and power box uh, axe stone axe to create the uh, campfires to get the wood you probably don't even need that you just need wood but a lot of it uh, spheres I mean because a sphere can use to actually get his attention because if you don't hit him I don't know if I said this if you don't hit him before he dies you won't get the loot that's where you have to hit him you can also use a sphere you don't got to use a, um, a bow and arrow it really is that simple guys it really is that simple you probably don't even need a power box at the back i only put the power box there because um just in case you die just in case you do die therefore then you can uh just respawn right back outside there you ain't got to run all the way back here and yeah again 
It really is as simple as that. And you can do this over and over again, guys, until you've got what you need, the XP you need, the gold that you need against almost 40k. Time. Sometimes it can be lower. Sometimes it got to about like 30, 35. But sometimes it's 45. And you get three gold coins, uh, keys too. So yeah, guys, it's a great, great, great exploit. I definitely recommend you trying out and using the views before it gets patched out of the game, especially you new players, because this is unreal. Again, simple as that, guys. Do what you've got to do. And there we have it. A great guide for new players to level up nice and easy. When you're done, don't forget, move your power box. You don't need it out there. Once you've got it set up, you're completely fine. Again, if you do accidentally die while you're doing it, your power box is right here anyway, so you could respawn back in. But there we have it, guys. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.